My name is Essence Hepburn. I, uh, I lead um, the Microchurch University at UT, at the University of Tampa. When I started leading, uh, I think I led from my experience as a student of let's try to create organic community where it's not just about attending a, an event. Um, that's actually not where the growth happens. Um, the growth actually happens through the relationships that you have with these people. With COVID and 2020 being the year that it was, it was very different to lead that way because ultimately the only space that we had was that event space. So it was super difficult to even, as a leader, like even uh, strategize how to reach students. I think the biggest way that I have been challenged this year as a missionary on this campus um, is just with my faith. There were times where we didn't have anyone coming to small group. There was times where um, I was having conflict with my student leaders. There was a time where I didn't have any student leaders. And I think what the Lord has taught me through that is like, well, actually, no, I'm not enough and I can't do it alone. And I, I only have a little bit, like I have a little bit of time and I have a little bit of resources right now. Um, there's only two university staff in Tampa and there's so many examples in scripture of Jesus taking what little people have and like turning it into something really beautiful. At the beginning of the semester, I was feeling so like afraid and incapable that I was thinking like, maybe I should not just even do this. Maybe I should just not do staff. I was listening to the, this album, this song, and the story of the album is about a, a person that found like the beauty of like taking leaps of faith again. At this point, I just had learned that there were a lot of staff who were leaving the area. Um, so I'm, I'm recognizing that, but I'm actually like praying and thinking about this and I'm walking to UT. Um, well, I'm walking to downtown, I'm crossing a bridge and there's a line in the song that says, uh, wait, did the rainbow fade? Like basically did, did my promises to you go away? And I'm listening to that. I look over the river and there is a rainbow that is like, coming from the clouds onto UT's campus. It, it was like such a huge confirmation for me that like I just needed to take a leap of faith because of the promises that God has made and that he is faithful. And even though I might feel insecure about it or fearful about it or like I don't wanna take this risk, that God is like the only person in the universe that his promises will never fail. That was really helpful for me to actually take the leap of faith at the beginning of the semester and continue to take leaps of faith throughout it.